to this edition of the Strickland Scoop. This time we are talking about buying versus renting and the benefits of owning a home. With so many millennials now entering the market, we have a lot of questions are what are the benefits to me for owning a home versus renting? Mandy? Lauren thinks with the renting versus buying, I think that buying actually forces you into a forced savings account. Yeah. Pretty much no matter what happens, you are going to figure out a way to make that mortgage payment. Paying that down month by month increases the equity in your house. By the time you decide that perhaps you might want to move somewhere else or get a home equity loan, you automatically have money in the bank that you didn't even realize that you did just because you made that mortgage payment. Secondly, it pretty much stabilizes your budget with a landlord. That landlord can increase your rent at any time. He can also ask you to leave at any time in terms of budgeting with a fixed mortgage. You know what it's going to be and every single month that portion of your, for example, your monthly budget, it's the same and you're going to be able to then allocate your other funds to different things that you might want to be either saving for or spending your money on. That's an excellent point, Mandy. With the rental market as tight as it is, rents are going up significantly. And especially in St. Pete. Uh, yeah, and they can you know, especially be higher than what your mortgage payment would be. Doug, what are your thoughts? Yeah, this is a little bit more of a personal thing and personal issue with me. The subject is because I have rented in the past and you know, I used to be a professional athlete, so I would have to be ready to be traded at any point in time. So if I would get a 30 year mortgage or something in that range, it was tough for me to handle and have to move so often. But that being said, you know, renting wasn't my first choice. I never really wanted to do that. It was almost a forced hand. And then also, you know, there'd be times where I'd have to get into a 12 month lease and I'd be paying, say, around $3,000 a month. That's $36,000 after that year that I have zero to show for it. So, you know, looking back, it was something that I had to do, but uh, I'm glad I'm a home buyer now. Another point that I wanted to bring up is tax benefits. Mm -hmm. As a renter, you are not able to deduct mortgage interest and property taxes, which oftentimes make up the bulk of what your monthly mortgage payment is. So as a renter, when you are not able to do that, you basically are giving all of those tax benefits to your landlord. When you purchase, depending upon what it is that your mortgage payment is per month, a good chunk of that comes off the top of your taxes and it's a great benefit come April 15th time. Yeah, and one of the other points that I wanna make is that you know when I was in the rentals, I wanted to decorate, I wanted to do some things interior wise, kitchen wise, that I wasn't able to do because I was suspect to a, the landlord and what his right. rules were. So, you know, that affected a lot of the things that I wanted to do interior wise and it just wasn't my home. It never felt like my home. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, that's another thing that uh, just factors into the equation why you should look into purchasing over running. I would say too that with the interest rates possibly going up, well, we know that they have gone up re as of recent. You know, now is a really good time to buy. Great points, Mandy and Doug, and thank you all for tuning in to the Strickland Scoop.